do like 5, 20 for everything. It gives me a little bit more room on this on this stack. You know, I'll give you basically 120 on this stack and then and then your price four on this. Thanks, Zach. Right. Yep, yeah, perfect. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. So first deal of the day, sold these three cards to our buddy Zach. Terry, make sure to follow him on Instagram. These are all going to Zach. Hey, yeah, what's up? Northwestern, right? Yeah. Hey, I was going through some old stuff when yeah. I found that, man. Oh, you thanks, know, buddy. Ooh, piece of candy. No, that's awesome. digging through some old boxes. Thank you, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's awesome, dude. Awesome little PC hookup to start the day. Sweet college tribute. Little patch card. Really appreciate it. All right, so I came wildly unprepared today. I usually have everything priced and ready to go, but I've been busy for the last couple of days, so I didn't get a chance to price everything. So we just finished pricing everything. I'll see you guys just set up in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna throw these in the case, and then maybe walk around the room, see what there is, and we'll go from there. Here's what the showcase looks like today. I actually don't have a ton of stuff, but the biggest thing I brought today was this sign that I made. Definitely looking to cash some people out today. I brought like 3,500, almost $4,000. Hopefully I can buy whatever walks up to the table. Put a little space here so people can set their, their case down when I'm looking to buy, a little buying station. Uh, we have these optic mega boxes from Fanatics. I am assuming those are not gonna last very long. And then I went with three, one, and then two for one here on the value boxes today. So we'll see how it goes. First deal, Mahomes Color Blast, PSA 9, 2021 Obsidian. The 50 cent box is all like, I think it's all colors and rookies. It's not just like random base cards, I don't think. Uh, three bucks. Yeah, if it has a, if it's in this box, it's three dollars. And even if it has a price tag or whatever, whatever box it's in is the, uh, Okay. Is the price it is? I just didn't didn't so untag some of the stuff. So. Are you selling stuff? A little bit. No, okay. I don't I don't need crazy. Do you want me to take a look? Do you have a price you want for everything? Not really. I hadn't priced it out too much. Okay. If you want to, I'd be interested in everything. If you want to do like a bulk deal, you want 125 for the stack. Yeah. What about with all this? Like I said, I'm assuming most of the money is obviously in the color. Yeah, it's, just it's about five. I mean, there's, I don't know what this sale is. That's, that could be an anomaly. Yeah, right. um, but the rest of them, you know, it's right around five. So I think that's fair. Would you do like five, 20 for everything? It gives me a little bit more room on this, on this stack. You know, I'll give you basically 120 on this stack and then, and then your price four on this. What would I say, 520? I mean, honestly, I'd rather just buy it from you. Um, I prefer to just buy it. I'd need probably a hundred bucks on top if you want to give me this for that. I'd honestly rather just buy it straight up from you. If, if to pull this, just to move walk and stuff, what would you do on just the stack? I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stack yeah. 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 Probably not. I'd need to have this to get to one, because I'd want to be at, I mean, it's close. It's just, like these aren't, I know they're not. I got it. Yeah, it's just, that's like this stack. I'd rather have. Like I'd almost rather just not have these. But I'll, you know, I'll take them from you. I mean, would you do like five thirty for everything? Would that get it done? I'd, I'd like to be in that five fifty range if I'm throwing this, only because I'm, I'm trying to get into Herbert stuff, and that was yeah. one of my bigger, my bigger punches to do it. And I really want to be at like five thirty. I'm not. I'm not trying to beat you up over twenty no. bucks. It's just, you know, like this stack. Like I was just kind of putting. I mean, I know they're. It's just like averaging what I want to pay is like 10 on these and there's seven of them and then I'd pay like a dollar basically a card on all this stuff because it's, it's just all base stuff, you know what I mean? So that would get me to like 100. I'll give you a little bit more space, which was the extra 30 um, plus these. So basically I'm just, these are like, I'm basically getting these for free if I'm buying everything. That's essentially what I'm thinking, you know what I mean? I don't want to walk from the deal, but I also don't want to, you know. I'm not setting on anything nuts. That's yeah. why I, I'm, I'm kind of reserved just to sell that as yeah. opposed to try and trade it in. I guess, something. yeah, the, the question is, like, do you think you can get more out of the, you know, $400 cash or do you, can you get more out of right. the card? I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. 
if I if I just pull onto that, what would you just do on the, on the stack entirely? I mean, would you just be on this? Just a I, do, I mean, I do one thirty. I mean, if, if if that works for you, that's I, fine. I, I mean, I'm fine with it. Okay, that's, that's I, I can do that. Like well, I mean, this gives you some cash to play with, and, and I watch your videos. Oh, awesome. thanks, man. Yeah, appreciate so I appreciate it. The yeah, I appreciate always, the deal. Yeah, if you want to come back too, uh, you know, I'd be interested in buying it. So, right. Good deal. yeah, thanks, man. Nice. Good luck. How you doing, man? Good. How are you? Good. What do you want for it all? Uh, the price on the bag. This is what they call for. Uh, what are you looking to sell at? Like, do you want to sell at comps? What do you? Uh, no, not sell at comps because obviously okay. you got to think on yourself. Mac Jones is nice. I actually used to own that. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think I uh, traded with uh, Ron. Okay, yeah, somehow it made its way to me, so. Yeah, the nines do like 60, so I think that's about right. I mean, there's some that are like 20, 25, but there's some that are 30. I mean, I'd, I'd want to value it at like 30. Is that okay with you? Okay. Are you talking about this one? Yeah, that was a lot. Okay, so what's the difference between this one and this one? Oh, it's numbered? Yeah, it's numbered. All right, I think that's fair. I was like, what's so special about yours? <laughs> I mean, yeah, see, like this is what scares me about that, is like, you know, and the, and the, yeah, they're just they're just low. I mean, I you know, like if I was buying them, I'd want to buy them at like 15 bucks a piece. You know what I mean? Um, if you want to hold on to them, that's fine too. If we're val if we're doing like a bulk deal or whatever, like I I'd, I'd put that value on it, even though I don't think it's worth that. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you're you're far off on it. Like it's, you know, like there's a bunch of HGA graded ones that do like 150. I'd value it at like 160. Is that cool? The total comp is 570. Okay. I'd pay you 400 bucks on it, cash. Okay. Uh, if you wanted to trade, I could do a little better than that. Of course. Um, but that's that would be my cash price for you. And that assumes I buy everything. Yeah. Appreciate your. Uh, it's it's nice when people know. Well, it's also nice when people know the price of their cards. Well, it's just sometimes people walk up and they're like, "Well, what are you offering?" I'm like, "It's your card, brother." Yeah. You know, like I'm not. I mean, I'll work with you on if we can agree on a price on it, but like, I'm not gonna just throw you a number. Yeah, I think we can do four. Okay. Thank you, my dog. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. I think I've only done one coin flip ever, and I won, so I'll keep that record going. I'm just gonna pass you my coin. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I flipped it though. They all got an eight five or higher, which is really good. I got a few nine fives, a couple of nines. So. Uh, either the Blue Hulk or the Red Deadpool. The Red Deadpool is like 1500 Blue Hulk is a little bit less than that. I sold about $500 worth of them, and I still have 14 of them left. Are you selling anything? Or what about the Burrow Hollow? Or the Herbert Hollow? What about this Lando? You ever come down on price on the Lando? <laughs> I'll pay you two on the Herbert. I'll pay you 200 bucks on it. 250, 261, 247. I'll, I'd, I'd pay you two. Last one of these did 210. I can't pay that strong on this. I'd pay, I'd pay you like, um, does 210. I mean, I'd pay you 140 for it. Because like, it's just, it doesn't move. It sits around. I'd probably have to put it on eBay, take an offer on it, you know. So that's basically, I'd pay you 70% on that. This one, this one's like, hovers between 250 and three. I'd pay you 550 for everything. So it'd be like two, two, 140, and then 10 bucks for the pair of them. I mean, those last two aren't a deal breaker. It's just kind of like, you know, if I'm taking the other stuff and cashing out on the rest of the stuff, I thought it was like a $5 card. I'd give you a little more because I didn't know that card was 50 bucks. I really want to do it as like a bulk deal because, you know what I mean? Because like, it, like I, I'm not necessarily just want to buy this for 140, you know what I mean? I mean, it basically does 250. That's, it's a clean comp on it, you know what I mean? So I'd pay 80% just because it's Herbert. And then that one is between 250 and 300. I went on the lower side and because because it's F1, it just moves slower. Two. So what we're at 540. Would you say 35 on them? Yeah. How about how about 570 for everything? Does that work? So it'd be it'd give you 30 bucks on this and the prices I told you on these. 570. In the middle, 575. It's because it's you. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, Bryce. Try my new golf clubs. So oh yeah, you guys sell the cards, huh? I mean, I can work with you on these too. Like, there's not, they're not hard and firm. They just, I priced them at that because that's what they're selling for on eBay. Is the Fanatics ones, you know? But I could probably do a hundred a box on them. Um, or if you bought more, you know, whatever. Yeah, we could work something out. Like if you bought all of them, I'd do ninety a box on them.
Go town dunk. I honestly thought about ripping some of them because, like, you can do pretty well on them. Yeah, and especially because I got them at you know retail. Well, just because you can hit, yeah, like you can hit the downtowns and pay for the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I went from not doing cards at all to like having a business and a YouTube channel and like all this stuff. So in like a year, <laughs> doesn't take much. Just takes a little bit of self education. You got two hundred here. Yeah. Yeah. Do that for you. I'll put them on back. Yeah, I can do that. Bruh. Caught it. Perfect, thank you. There's a running joke on my channel that I like handshake fails, so we'll add that one. That's a new one. Perfect. So yeah. Is it on there? Yeah, it's on there. Oh yeah, we got it. It's usually when the bar opens. Let's go get some shots, Sam. Yeah. For the, um, for the vlog. Yeah, that's unfortunately those days have passed for me. Well, fortunately or unfortunately, yeah. Do you prefer walking or do you prefer having a table? It depends. Yeah. We're trying to buy right now, so well, I guess the table because you can buy better from behind a table. Yeah, it's just different. It's like I think you just see different stuff, you know. Like sometimes yeah. I find it easier to like walk around and buy stuff. Just because like everything's right in front of you, you know, and you can always walk away. But like you're, you're right though, you can definitely you have a little bit more leverage, I think, when you're sitting behind the table. Sure. You can take two cards for free. For free. For free. Yeah, you're welcome. You got to find the two best ones though. If you don't pick the two best ones, then they're not free. I'm just kidding. You, you, you can pick whatever one you want. We started off a little slow today, but things have definitely picked up. Buying's been great. Selling has picked up a little bit as well. Uh, value boxes once again were a huge hit. I've already sold over $100, and it's mostly dollar fifty cent cards. So uh, definitely teaching me to have good value boxes is really important. So I've made sure to buy some lower end stuff for that purpose. Um, the buying sign has been good. People know that they can come up to me and get some cash. So yeah, moving along. See how the rest of the show goes. I mean, the way I look at it, and this is just my philosophy, is like either I want to just sit on things until I get the price I want for it, but it could be two years could be never or I can go in with the expectation at a show it's like I can sell my cards for 85% of comps cat you know in cash 85 to 95 percent of comps is typically what I'll do and most of the time if people offer me that and it, I mean some stuff notwithstanding you know like there's some stuff where I don't mind sitting on it a little longer you know like the Devin Booker like if someone comes and offers me 400 probably not gonna take it because like you know the last sale was you know, there's a 500 or a 450 or whatever. You know, if someone offers me 450, I'll take that. But like, you know, I'm not just, if someone just throws me that, like I probably wouldn't take that. I'm happy to sit on that a little while longer, but there's other stuff where I'm just like, whatever, I'm already down on it. And like, you know, some stuff I am a little high on, like the, uh, you know, the Jordan pool, I'm like a little bit higher on, cause I'm like, you know, maybe someone wants to trade for it. If not, like, I think that'll be a fair stick here in a month. Sometimes I don't know how people price their cards. Yeah, I'm just like, how did you get to that number? Like it just and and the thing is too is like people take offense on their sticker price. It's like, for me, a sticker price is completely meaningless. Like it doesn't matter at all. If someone has a sticker for a thousand and the card is a six hundred dollar card, you know, like it, I don't care what your. It doesn't matter what your sticker. It doesn't. None of my stickers matter. It matters like if we agree on a value and then we agree on a on a sale price. You know, that's really what it is. There used to be a thing where like not everybody knew the prices and so you could rip people off, basically. Or maybe not rip people off, but certainly you could sell stuff for way more than what it was worth. And now, everyone knows the prices. And so, you know, if it's something unique, like if it's like a, you know, flawless Mahomes out of 10 or whatever, you know, that's sort of a name your price. Like, the, the sales don't really matter all that much. I mean, they do for a ballpark, but like, just because the last sale was 1500 it could be a, two thousand twenty five hundred dollar card you know but like for like a herbert nine like there's a set price for that card that card sells for this so like why would you buy that one when you can come to me and buy this one you know so i'm interested in these i'm just going to pull out the ones that i think are maybe worth a little bit more yeah, yeah. Uh, the easiest way for me to do this is just kind of like price per card right sure. so so if you want two dollars a card or five dollars a card or whatever like as long as we can come to an agreement on that yeah, like yeah. i can i can make it work yep. um it is all like low end stuff yeah, yeah, so it definitely is low end. i'm not like i don't want to like super overpay for any of it nope. you know what i mean nope. 
I just kind of pulled out the ones that I thought would maybe a little bit more. This one's probably the most out of anything, to be honest with you. About 50 bucks. Do you know how many cards there are? I didn't, I started counting. I was thinking like, this stack's probably like a dollar a card. Oh, okay. Um, um, I don't know how many there are, if there's 30 cards or, because there's some that's, that's a little bit more than that, there's some stuff that's a little less. Oh, I got you, yep. so this card's a, probably right around 50 bucks, I think. Um, I didn't find the pink one, but like his rookie silver prisms does like 45. Yeah. So it's probably a little bit more than that, but around 50, 60 bucks. It's 30 cards. I'd give you 40 bucks for it. So that gives you a little bit more than a dollar a card on the stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that's so fine. that's fine. I'd give you like probably five bucks a piece on these, make it 20 with these three included. So that would be 20 total, and then if we come to an agreement on these, this I'd value at 60, so I'd give you 40 for it. So basically, 40 on this, I'd give you 100 total for the, the stack. Yeah, that's great.